Okay, here's a look at uh, the inside of my room. My uh, friends got me that sign. I think it's pretty cool. So I'm using that for a while now. Kind of a brief look at my setup. Um, about a month ago, I had a white ceiling before. I painted the, uh, the ceiling black. I have a uh, 7 dot. 2.4 uh, setup, four in ceiling speakers, obviously surrounds and um, surrounds in the back as well. Uh, did some acoustic panels uh, myself, not the best quality, but I think they work for my room um, eventually. The screen that I have is 150 inch, it is a uh, DIY uh, screen. I have the black spandex screen with um, the Seymour XD acoustically uh, transparent screen all of my speakers and stuff are inside inside of the wall there so I'll take that off in a second and be able to show you guys that uh, everything sounds great um, good clarity um, been tweaking a lot upgraded my uh, surrounds about a month ago went with just bigger drivers those are um, eight and a half inch drivers that I have in there um, before they were the six and a half inch, those are just Polk Audio um, in wall speakers that I have there. Pretty good surrounds. I wanted something not sitting off the wall because I have such a narrow walkway. I had something on the wall last time and I used to hit my head on them. I'm pretty tall, so got rid of that and put some in walls in there to be able to get some, um, some more room and, and all that other stuff. So, just a brief look at my room, uh, equipment. Equipment, another storage room here on the side. It's kind of my junk room, and but also this is where uh, the rack is. And I showed you before. It sits off to the side with uh, with all my stuff inside of there. So, it's a brief kind of look at uh, look at my setup. Oh, wanted to show you guys also my uh, my small office. <laughs> Didn't have a place for it. I work at home a lot, so um, it's created. A, have a little odd shaped bend in my room and uh, put a desk and a monitor up there and um, do a lot of my work at that desk as well my projector uh, cut it out I'm gonna put some trim up just haven't had a chance to do it yet but uh, I have the JVC RS 600 is my uh, is my projector awesome projector uh, I know the new JVC's have come out and you know probably not interested in upgrading to a newer one it's a 4k e shift one um but probably eventually we'll get a new jvc one here and probably another two or two years or so something that's native 4k but that one's a great picture um beautiful picture haven't had any problems with it i also have in, uh, in storage another jvc i have the uh, rs4910 that's in that big box and right there it's kind of my backup uh, was going to sell it but just decided to hold on to it don't think i'll be able to get much money for it and kind of like having something on back hold just in case something happens to the one that i have so uh that's a look at it and then i'll uh, show a video of uh inside of that wall so you guys can see my speakers that i have my front speakers i have a uh, fusion 15s which are diy sound group speakers high output speakers sound great and then uh, i have my subs the two um the two uh, mini marty's inside of there also have a svs a pb12 an sd kind of as a near field sub i had it didn't really know what i wanted to do with it so i implemented it into the room um, i have a mini dsp handling all of my uh sub and bass management stuff so implemented the third one in there and sounds pretty good fills out the rest of the room and fills up some of the boys that i have from different seats so that's it Hey everybody, just giving you guys a quick uh, rundown of kind of my setup. I've never done this before. Follow everybody's uh, uh, post, etc. Um, thought it'd be a good idea to be able to show a little bit of what I have. Uh, been doing a lot of upgrades over the last uh, six to eight months, and just want to show a few of the things that I've done, uh, kind of my plan, and um, you know how things have gone thus far. Uh, the top there you see I have a lot of my components up there my NVIDIA shield my harmony remote um, what I'm using to control everything direct TV box uh, my Xbox one uh, my Marantz uh, processor 
my rants uh, my Marantz is only powering just my overhead channels I have um, individual uh, amplifiers for all the rest of my seven speakers uh, including my subs there uh, it's a crown amplifier that I have just for my center channel I have it running bridge to, uh, to power my uh, center channel second receiver that I have I kind of that picked that up really cheap on Craigslist to be able to power my bass shakers <laughs> kind of a weird setup that I have not sure what I want to do with it I'm going to probably eventually get another amp for those bass shakers but have that running um, found a kind of a hack that I found on AVS forms but it works out pretty well um, I have uh, four bass shakers inside of my uh, inside of my chairs that I run and um, uh, just powering that on stereo mode off of that receiver uh, three channel amplifier that I have there uh, powering some speakers the rest are pretty much just amps that I have one thing I do have that I want to show is um, this new um, addition that I have the mini DSP um, it's the DDRC 88A it's a surround sound processor basically it's running um, Dirac Live for my seven channels I just got that this weekend and wow just a huge huge upgrade uh, and just overall sound quality from uh, for what I have uh, got the Behringer iNuke 6000 is powering my mini Marty uh, subwoofers that I have um, does just a good job of filling this room with bass and uh, giving us some good solid low frequency so that's a just a quick peek of my rack um, believe it or not this rack that I have I got it off of Craigslist somebody gave it to me for free I've been kind of hunting down a rack for a lot of time and was able to find one uh, really blessed to be able to get this for the price that I got it for which was free <laughs> you can't beat that very solid rack and um, want to eventually get some face plates to kind of clean it up and clean up the front of it in the back I have just a mess of wires because like I said I've been swapping things out um, trying to put it all together um, figuring out what exactly that I want I'm kind of a tinkerer uh, I feel like I'm at a pretty good spot right now though so that's a good look at um quick look at my rack just a quick look at uh, my setup and like what's behind the screen um, as you can see I I have the uh, fusion 15s um, from DIY sound group as my uh, front uh, front channels left right and center uh, these speakers are pretty awesome uh, just got them a couple months ago probably about a month ago and um, man so efficient um, really high output speakers uh, really high SPL levels and you don't need a lot to drive them so anyone's looking for something like that pretty musical as well just good all-around speakers uh, there you can see also my um, my uh, mini Marty's that I have I have two of them there in the wall not the best setup I know I have had to retrofit uh, something that was previously already here uh, the first owner of this house uh, who actually built this house had an old CRT TV that he pushed inside of that cutout space and so just trying to figure out ways to make the most of it I ended up cutting holes in the wall because again I wanted to uh, get the speakers off the floor and um, put them inside of the cabinet there um, so that's what I eventually been ended up doing you can see behind here there's a uh, um, some space I have a walkthrough that leads to my storage closet there that I created and uh, some other stuff inside of there as well. So that's a look at my front stage. Um, some more cleanup to do, I know, but um, it sounds really good. Uh, get a good, good bass response in the room. I eventually want to open this all up. Uh, just not sure about taking that whole entire wall out. And I don't know, I've just kind of been in a dilemma about how I want to handle that. So, so far, though, really like it. It's a big upgrade, like I said before, from, uh, from what I had. So thank you.